Hosanna, that tree is not big enough for you, my boy. You're going to s fall out. <laughs> so little Shongile, she went up that way, and it was much easier for her to climb up that being that she's so much lighter, whereas he's such a brute these days that it's very difficult for him. So now he's sitting at the base of the tree, almost lo looking up longingly, like, why can't I get up as well? I think Shangila is actually sitting in his way at this stage. But isn't that spectacular? So not just one leopard in a tree, we have two, and hopefully a third one that's wanting to go up shortly as well. But that is as spectacular as it gets. And you can see Shangila, look how she's looking up in all the branches. So she thinks that Karula lying up in this tree means that there's a carcass up here. So she's checking all the branches just to see, is there any sign of food? Is that why mom is lying in this tree? And she's checking very, very carefully. Hasana at the bottom of the tree is doing the exact same. He's looking up in all these branches, trying to see why has mom stopped in this particular tree? Is it because there's actually food there? So, Michael, you want to know whether the cubs are big enough to start catching impala? Well, Hosanna, definitely, you can see, he's the same size as Karula, so he would be easily capable of grabbing an impala. Unfortunately, their technique is not great at the moment, so they're still learning and trying to work out how they actually do all of this stuff. And so, eventually, I would imagine they'll, he'll get it right and be able to do it. But physically, he's more than capable of pulling down even an adult impala. Shongile, I think, is a little bit small still. She's maybe not quite got that strength and that body weight to wrestle with a big impala but she would be more than capable of killing a young impala from this year so one of these lambs from december time now what i want to try and do is just because we've got tails and bums facing us i'm going to go around and we're going to try and see if we can get their faces because it will be a beautiful picture for all of you that like to take your screenshots if we can get around the front and we can see Karula and Shongile facing towards us just got to negotiate a little stump quickly just careful here Craig just got to make Craig do a bit of exercise this morning and dodge some branches there we go but that is what I was hoping for there is a bit of a tree in the way but it is nice with the two of them up there and like I say for those of you that like to do your screenshots that is a perfect picture of the Royals together now let's hope Wasana makes his way up as well I think unfortunately at the moment he can't get up because Shungila is right at the top of the point where he would climb into so he's looking longingly like he's wanting to be there he's the forlorn son that's unfortunately been banished to the bottom by the ladies it felt that I know how he feels this is how I felt yesterday afternoon when I was banished to the tent while the ladies were having all the fun with the leopards so my way I know how you feel and I sympathize but that's spectacular eh? with that storm and sort of windy wet weather in the background isn't that just the most beautiful sight you can see Shangila is still looking. She's convinced that there's something hanging here somewhere. So, Mumble Rocks, you want to know if the cubs have made a kill yet? As far as I know, yes, Hosanna has made a kill. Um, I'm not sure about Shungile, but I know Hosanna has made a few. I think Shungile killed a monitor lizard the other day. Oh, here we go. This is going to be problems. My boy, you're too heavy. You can't climb small trees like that. And now he's decided that that's where he's going to sleep. <laughs> This cat is another story. I almost have that vision of, you know, a slingshot when you bend a tree too far and then it breaks and he's going to be flung into the tree. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but it would be quite funny if that did happen. Oh, and Shongile is right up into the top of the branches now. She's busy looking up there. Like I say, I'm sure she's convinced that there's something up here. That's why mom is passed out and sleeping on the branch. But alas, my girl, there's nothing. I don't see any sign of food up there for you, I'm afraid. And Karula is just oblivious to all of this. She's fast asleep at this stage, not worried at all about her delinquent children that are running riots in this maruna tree. I 
but I can tell you now it's quite a scene to have all three of them casually posing on trees. It's one of those sightings you, when you think of Africa and you think of leopards and big cats, it's kind of that splendid repose on a tree is what you always think about and to have one is amazing, to have two is even better, but to have three is pretty astounding. And now that they're bigger, it's that much more impressive to see the three of them all sitting in a tree together. Shongile, that's not the best place with this wind, my girl. You can see she's being rocked a bit by the wind. And there's Karula just fast asleep at the bottom of the branches there. She's got the ultimate leopard pose, the front paws draped. There comes Hosanna. Careful now. Maybe now that Shungile's moved, he's going to go up the main part of the branch. Or the tree trunk, should I say. And I always love watching a leopard climb. The ability to climb and, and the strength that they show when they go up into these trees is just astounding. They are so agile and there is so much power to haul themselves up vertically. It really is quite something. Last night we were watching a clip of Anderson hoisting a warthog and that power is just always gets to me. It's incredible to watch him going up a tree like that. Uh, Hosanna, have you decided the ground is safer this afternoon, or this morning, should I say? No. Now, there are quite a few flies. While we're sitting here, we're being assaulted by flies. So maybe that's why he's... That's why he's uh, moving around so much and not sitting still. It seems like he's quite curious to see what Texan is up to. So he's come right up to Texan's vehicle and he's just having a little look around. So Veronica, you want to know if Karula will take the cubs with her hunting? Well, yes, in some stage she's going to be walking along like we have been this morning and they're going to spot some sort of prey item. So you s saw a little bit earlier with the Franklins that they surprised that Hosanna went bursting after it and Karula followed. So you'll find that as they walk around like this, they will bump into impalas and varying prey animals. And when they do do that, you're going to get into a situation where they, she's going to start stalking and the cubs are then going to start learning how they must stalk and how they need to position themselves. And then it's just going to be about trial and error. From there, as they become independent, they're going to start hunting smaller things. So they'll hunt birds and mice and scrub hares and lizards. And they'll hone their technique on those before they start really being successful with the bigger impalas. Hassan, are you curious as to who all these people are watching you? He's busy just having a look at all the guests and meeting all his new friends that have come to have a look at him. I think it's now a case of who's watching who at this stage. But he's now just decided discretion is the better part of valor. Has turned around again. I'm sure he's going to end up in this tree at some stage.